Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another holiday video, Too Faced holiday video, no less. I think Too Faced has everybody beat with volume of products released this holiday season and I really have been picking pretty much all of them up. One for me, but two so that I can let you know <laughs> how they perform. So today is going to be the Sugar Plum Fun Set. I had no idea that this was even part of holiday collection 2020 for the brand but I was meandering through Ulta the other day and I saw the display for it and I was like what and so that location had been all sold out so I went to another location and they had one left and uh, I snagged it because I was like oh my goodness everything girly everything holiday in the same packaging I need to get this so I mean what else is new so guys I have thoughts for you I've got swatches of course I've got a demo all of that good stuff so if you're interested or have been interested in this little set and you kind of know want to know what the deal is then just keep on watching all right, you guys. So first off, the packaging comes like this. It is super girly, super cute. Um, we're going to go into some details. It is a set of an eyeshadow palette, a very mini lip injection, as well as a very mini um, shadow insurance, which they typically throw in either a shadow insurance or a mascara into each one of these. It was $32 for reference. It does um, have a shelf life of 12 months and it is made in the USA. Let's go into to the inside contents. So look at this palette. So it's called Sugar Plum Fun and I think it's centered around like sugar plum, sugar plum fairies from the Nutcracker, hence some of the names on the inside. But this is so, so cute. And what I really want to point out is that there's a line of sugar plum fairies on the cover and they are each a different skin tone. And I think that is so pretty, especially to incorporate in a holiday palette. I'm gonna bring you up close and I'm gonna let you take a look at this. Look how pretty this is. I just think that that is so nice, so innovative. I've told y'all before, I love unique. And to me, this is unique. I, I love it. It's so, so cute. Um, so girly, so feminine, everything ballerina. Anyways, we'll go into this palette here in a second. But when I took the palette out of the box for the first time, I was just like, I think this is one of my very favorite covers ever. It's so cute. I mean, it just, I don't know if you're anything like me, then you grew up singing the song, Jesus loves the little children and all the children of the world. And I just love it. It's so beautiful. And this cover just reminds me of that song. And uh, I think it's a, a little bit of what we need right now. So um, anyways, you get the little shadow insurance there and then you do get a little mini um, lip injection. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with these, but they're actually very, very lovely on the lips. This one is in also Sugar Plum Fun. And honestly, you guys look at the little um, handle or the top. It's got the little sugar plum berries. So cute. Okay. I am kind of in a hurry, so I'm going to move quickly through this. So obviously, I already showed you the cover of this. Very detailed, very pretty, very dainty. You do have, I forget, eight eyeshadows in here. So kind of a bite-sized palette, just not the tin format. You get eight eyeshadows, um, net weight uh, each of 0.8 grams or 0.03 ounces, typical for their little bite-sized palettes, and then total net of 6.4 grams or 0.20. 0.24 ounces. So on the inside, there is a little mirror and there's a little sugar plum fairy on the inside. I don't want to blind you, but oh my gosh, so cute. And then you've got eight eyeshadows in here. So there are four mattes. Let's see. I'm sorry. There's five mattes and three metallics. You guys know I gear towards the metallic shades. So um, obviously that's the first thing I wanted to play with. But let me go ahead and grab swatches for you right quick. We'll go into the demo after that and then I'm going to be back for final thoughts. For the first four, we have Dancing in Their Heads, Babes in Toyland, Tasty Treat, and Nice Technique. And you see how the theme is very nutcracker. Um, I accidentally flipped these two when I was swatching. So um, still the top row, but flip flopped. So let's go ahead and swatch these on my hand. Very crumbly as usual, but that's okay. Um, this is what that first row looks like. Obviously these two are metallic and these two are matte. Let me grab the second row and I'll be right back. For the second row, we have Tutu, Tool, Sugar Plum, and Meet Me at the Bar, B-A-R-R-E. Obviously like a ballerina bar, so very cute. 
Again, I love the thought that goes into these types of things to go with the theme. Um, so that is what we've got going on for swatches. So hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully, you know, if you were wondering what these look like, now you know. Um, real quick, let's go into a demo so that you can see how I put this on my eyes today. You can kind of see it live in action. And then we will come back for some final thoughts. Starting off with the shade Tutu and a blending brush, I'm going to take quite a bit of this and start working this into my crease. Now for reference, these mattes are a little bit dustier and lighter than what we've seen previously in the Too Faced palettes. So I did find that not only with this shade but others, um, as far as mattes, I did need to build up quite a bit, which is what you're seeing here. It still looks lovely, um, but it did take quite a bit of building up. Next, going into the shade Meet Me at the Bar, um, and I'm going to go in with another blending brush, place this on the outer portion of my lid. So upon per, uh, first application, it does look like it's really pigmented, but quite frankly, it dusts away very quickly and ends up looking so much lighter. I did also have to go in with several layers of this shade. Then going in with a smaller blending brush, this is a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush um, just so that I could get more into the crease area so that I could blend that out make it look a little bit less like patchy and clumpy a little bit more seamless and that sounded bad it's not a patchy shade but it does just dust away quite a bit I'm going to grab some Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer on the back of my hand and I'm going to take a flat shader brush and just kind of cut my crease but not really I'm just laying this down as a tacky base for the metallic shade that I'm about to use so going in with my finger to the shade Babes in Toyland, I'm going to grab this and place it um, on my lid. Now when I do this, I pat. I don't do a whole lot of sweeping because I'm looking for a lot of metallic intensity. Um, and so that's how I achieve that result. But grabbing a brush, I do have to go into the little crevices that I can't reach with my finger. My finger is a little stubby and I can't get up in there. So a brush does the trick for that. Now going into the shade Nice Technique and that same little blending brush, I'm just placing this in the middle of that deep shade and the metallic shade. I really kind of wanted just to add more, more flavor to this eye look and have that kind of peek through. Again, it did take quite a bit of layering. Going back in with a little bit of Babes in Toyland just because I lost a little bit when I added that shade to the middle. Um, and now just going in with a smaller brush, I uh, forget what this is, it's a little domed brush um, for detail work. And I'm placing this on the lower lash line just to kind of tie it all in together. Then going in with the shade Meet Me at the Bar and placing this on the most outer portion of my lower lash line again to tie it all in. Going back in directly with the wand of the Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer and then dancing in their heads, which is that pink metallic shade. Going in with another small shader brush, this one's very tiny, and I'm just placing this on the inner corner. This one is highly metallic. Just going in with some Essence um, Brown Eyeliner in the waterline, and that is the final look. My friends, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it easy to follow. And I most of all hope it was beneficial in the event you are wondering if it would work for you. We're going to go into final thoughts now. Um, but before we do, I want to tell you that what I'm wearing on my lips is the Cinnamon Bear Melted Matte Lippy. Um, typically, I get questions on what lippy I'm wearing or even others. I've been bad about putting what I'm wearing on my face in the description box. I'm so sorry, but I wanted to disclose that right quick, just in case you were wondering. So let's go ahead and go into this. You know what I did not give you was swatches of this um, lip injection. It's not what I'm wearing today. Obviously I'm not, I don't have it on, um, but the shade did not go with this look but I definitely want to give you an idea of what this looks like. It is a very pink shade, obviously. You can tell from the package. Um, and it is very, very shimmery. It's got a ton of shimmer in there. And that's one reason I love the lip injections. They are actually very lovely on the lips. If you can handle the tingle, um, they can be very potent in their tingle. So that is this little guy right here. And I have found that this performs just like all the other lip injections. It does have the burn, has, it has that sensation, super glossy, super reflective on the lips. So if that's your thing, then that's right for you. 
So let's go ahead and go real quick into the palette. I've already told you, love the packaging to this. I think Too Faced killed it this year with packaging. I have a couple more reviews for you for my last two sets um, for the Too Faced Holiday lineup and just whoever was in charge of packaging or, you know, covers and all that. I mean, my hat's off to you. You have a fan for life because this is my favorite year by far for Too Faced Holiday, by far. Um, let's go ahead and go into the inside. So let's start off with the matte shades. Actually, let me take a step back and I'm going to talk about a little bit of packaging, which I don't usually do about the inside. But this particular packaging, the way the pans are set in here are a little bit deeper set than what you would find with an eyeshadow palette. Usually your pans are like flush with the little holder or whatever it's called. I don't, I'm not technical about that stuff. I don't know. These are kind of sunken a little bit lower and I'm not a fan because I typically go in with a finger when I'm using these metallic type of shades. And with this palette, what I find is when I go in with my finger, I like bump up against the little, you know, border, whatever it's called. And I'm not a fan of that. I don't like that they're sunk so low. I would have rathered them to be raised. That's super nitpicky, I guess. And it's super preference related. That's just something that I, as you know, what I like in my makeup, I'm not a fan just because again, I use my finger for the metallic shades as I do pretty much with any palette. So not really a fan of that, but that's okay. Moving on. Let's go into the matte shades. These mattes are a little bit less exciting than the mattes that we've seen so far with the Too Faced Holiday lineup. These are a little bit more powdery, a little more chalky, and they need quite a bit more building. So I would say the most that relates to what I'm telling you is this deep shade called Meet Me at the Bar. It's very like, it's pigmented when you swatch it, but that's why swatches mean nothing. Once you start putting it on your eye, it kind of shears out, it dusts away, it needs several layers. It's harder to work work with. Um, and I'm definitely just, I'm not a fan of the shade. I don't know, something about it just kind of missed the mark for me, especially since I've been so used to all the other holiday palettes by Too Faced being spot on. This just kind of missed it for me. As far as the other shades, they're nice, but they are dustier. It's almost like they're a little bit thinner and they need more building up. So that being said, the mattes in this palette are not my favorites, um, but you know, it, they're not bad. They're just not great. They're kind of meh. I could take them or leave them. And most of all, that deep shade right there. Just, you know, got to do what you got to do. Anyways, so as far as the metallics, they are very, very pretty. I would say Probably everybody, me included, eyes immediately went to this lilac one right here. And this is the one that I think pairs, is supposed to pair the most with this right here. It's got that blue iridescence to it. This is the thinnest one out of the three. It's still very beautiful, but I do feel like you need a tacky base. Kind of like the way I use the Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. You need something tacky like that to really build it up and get it like showing off to its true potential. It is a very thin shade. It does lean heavily blue. As you can tell, the shift is very, very blue, but it's a very pretty shade. It's very fairy-like. It's very um, sugar. What is it? Sugar Plum Fairy. I can totally see this being the theme of this eyeshadow palette. So that's that. It's very lovely. Just know it's a little bit of a thinner formula. I prefer using a finger with that one and a tacky base would do best. As far as these two right here, they're absolutely beautiful. Again, I do prefer going in with a finger. However, you saw when I placed this one in my inner corner, it's very metallic. It's very pigmented. goes on so nicely with a brush. So you could use either or. I, again, typically I go in with my finger with these types of shades. I'm used to it. It's typically my technique. Um, but these do okay with a brush as well. So those two for me are the star of the show of this palette. It's just a matter of, okay, does do those two shades justify the price tag? Well, I honestly really like this too, but overall, I mean, it's a very 
cute set. It's not entirely functional, at least not as much as the other sets or even the little mini bite size, size palettes like the Salted Caramel. Those shades are very creamy. They're very, it's almost like you can tell the difference in quality between the two. And I don't know, they're, they're all made in the US. So I don't know if it's just um, maybe this one didn't get as much focus because they didn't think it was going to be as popular. I don't know. Like I said, it's not a bad set. I'm actually happy I picked it up because I will put those metallic shades to use. Trust me, I will. <laughs> and honestly, this one's a very pretty shade. Like I said, it goes with the theme of this overall set. Um, it's just that the quality overall um, for many of these shades it isn't as on par as what I've been seeing lately by the brand. So take that for what it's worth. Um, I, again, I like it and I'm going to hold on to it. Um, I think you can get some really pretty looks out of it. Just a matter of working with it a little bit more and just kind of finding out how to work it to where it works best for you. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, especially if this has been on your Ulta loves list. I didn't see it on Sephora. I'm going to check again. And if I do see it, I'll let you know in the description box below. Um, but as usual, I will put a link to this product in the description box in case you are wanting to go check it out for yourself. Before I let you go, I just need to give you a very quick verse of the day just to motivate you, to encourage you, to let you know that Jesus loves you no matter what point in life you are at. Jesus loves you. And I feel like people need to hear that. We're in a time where we feel very alone, anxious, very, you know, it's a very weird time. And I'm not trying to force anything down your throat or anything. You're more than welcome to click off. But I just really want to tell you that. I just want to impart how much he loves you. If you are feeling abandoned and alone by so many or by all, he will never leave you feeling abandoned or alone. Anyways, today's comes from Acts 1631 and it says, they replied, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. My friends, thank you again for stopping by. I hope you are doing well, having a great day. I will see you very soon in the next video. Until then, stay safe and stay well. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Love each and every one of you. Bye guys.